Do you need to create your bill of materials in your ERP system? Are this done manually today? Let me show you how to fully automate the process using custom tools. In this example, Navision is used, but we can integrate to many other systems also. The assembly is ready in SolidWorks and from here we need to add the structure to ERP to create item numbers. In this case we have two companies defined and I will select the ATR soft company. The full assembly structure is loaded and we provide visual feedback to the user. Items in blue are marked as new item. The black items already exist in the ERP system and will not be recreated. Let's check the ERP side. As you can see, these items already exist and we do not need to export them again. Clicking export in the custom tools dialog will start the export directly to Navision. When done, we get a confirmation that export was successful. In Navision, we then perform a refresh of the list and we can see all items are created with item numbers. Looking closer on the ERP items, we see that SolidWorks properties was automatically mapped to Navision properties, number, description and so on. We also inserted a preview picture of the item. If we check the bill of materials for this item, we see the structure was also exported and created in Navision. In SolidWorks, I want to make a change to one of the parts in the assembly. I'll just update the description property, which is also used in Navision, and then run the export again. The export of the assembly now show that one item is updated. This is the part where description was changed in SolidWorks. After performing the export, we can have a look in Navision again. The export updates the item number 14, and the description is now synchronized with the SolidWorks model. As in many other cases, you do not even need to load the assembly in SolidWorks. Just use search and export from the search results window. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.